Welcome to Gritty 3D. Today is something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at an epoxy resin base for this Terminator figure that I had. I'm going to show you how to make it to look like lava, molten metal uh, or something along those lines. So stay tuned. <laughs> So for the epoxy resin that I've used to make this base, I've bought it from Amazon here. And I bought this kit because it contains all the colorings and mixing materials and everything else that you need. Now the ratio for the resin that I purchased was one to one. It will be different with yours potentially. So just make sure you have a look and read the instructions. But with the one that I've purchased, exactly the same amount of resin to hardener was required. And I used the little container that came with it to accurately weigh out the measurement. Didn't use any scales. And I found this a really accurate way of doing it. Because when I put the empty bottles next to each other, the half empty bottles, there was exactly the same amount of resin left in each. So uh, quite a good way of doing it. Um, easy to do. Uh, it comes with all the kit that you will need, all the colours that you will need. And it's literally a case of just pouring in two of the resin to two of the hardener into a container that, again, don't be too afraid to, to use a container that you, you're going to have to throw away potentially if it all goes wrong. So don't use your best uh, crockery. And once that's in there, we're going to take some of the colouring that comes with it. And I've used the orange as the base and just given that a fair few spots in. Now, this is finger in the air material. I didn't know how much to put in, so I always figured I could add more if I needed. And I gave it a little bit of a stir. Now the secret with mixing resin is don't rush it. Um, it takes a good four to five minutes to mix it in. And I wasn't too happy with the colour. So I added some red and then I gave it a really, really thorough mix. A good five minutes has passed and I'm still mixing wildly. Getting a, a better colour this time. And, and again, I think this is down to your eye and maybe add a bit more red, a bit more amber, but get it to the colour that you want as your as your base colour. But don't rush this stage. You need to make sure it's thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. Now, once your resin is mixed and you're happy with the end result, I've used a mould that again I bought from Amazon here to pour it into the mould and you need uh, a silicon mould is, is probably best because um, at the end of the result when it's all hardened you can just literally pop it off. I've seen people use Perspex and create their own but and there's plenty of videos on there for that effect. Now what I did when I was happy with the orange and it was poured into the mould I just added a few spots of the yellow and I agitated it in. I didn't mix it as such I just uh, used a little spatula to bash it up and down and just bend it and twist it into the base material exactly the same with the red colour and as you can see that it's starting to add some depth and some effect to the orange and I did exactly the same just bounced it up and down twirled it round twiddled it around same with the white nice molten white hot effect take your time get the effect that you want and, and don't be afraid to twiddle and, and just fiddle with it and there we go. I'm quite happy with how that looks on the surface. So what I'm going to do now is get the model. It's my Terminator Arnold uh, and T800 model, which I made a while ago on an FDM printer. And I'm just going to pop it in. And the first thing you'll notice is my table is not very even. Either that or Arnold has come alive and he's trying to escape. So I've just used a couple of the bottles that came with it to secure Arnold in place. And, uh, and I'm happy with how he looks and where he's positioned in the mould now. Now the black that you see going in is actually spray paint black and I just sprayed a little bit onto the end of the spatula and, I've, uh, and I'm using that to add a little bit of a dark effect to the, uh, to the resin itself as you can see. And I think you just need to be patient with this bit and get it how you want it. You can add other little bits of colour and you can swirl it around and move it around. But just your eye, a little bit of patience and get the effect that you want. So let's have a closer look to see what it looks like. Well, there you go. That's in its uh, unhardened state. And I think you'll agree it looks quite uh, good. It's got some character. It's got a little bit of depth to it. And I think it looks very lava, uh, molten metal-ish. And I am really pleased at this stage how it came out. Now, the thing that you need next is patience. I gave it a full 48 hours of waiting before I went back to it. And when I did, um, I was really pleased how it had gone rock solid. And if you grab your mould at that point, you can just literally peel your mould off. It came off really, really easily and um, nothing stuck to it. It wasn't tacky. 
the molds reusable now and there we go there's the the base in question it's absolutely uh, solid which is good and i'm and i'm really pleased how that's came out that anyone that knows the terminator franchise will know there is a, a relevance to a molten metal base for your terminator model and it just adds that little bit of uh, je ne sais quoi to it really and um, i think you'll agree it looks looks really nice so let's have a closer look and um there's the colours, there's all the mixed colours mixed in. Now if you can see where the Terminator joins the base, you can see like a silver line. And I, I really don't know how that got there. That wasn't planned uh, to put it there, but it really does help. Just looks like he's, he's melting a little bit into the molten metal. And um, it's added to the effect and looks really, really good. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Now it was relatively inexpensive to do. Once you've got the materials as well, you can make mould after mould for your models and the model I did before, I did a water base, so check that out. I did a Judge Dredd in water. So epoxy resin is a great, great way to make some bases. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And uh, I'll see you again for the next one. <laughs>